My name is Ryan Royland. I'm 19 years old. I'm from um, the Central Valley of California, a um, small town called Winton. Um, moved out to San Jose for college, San Jose State, and I'm a full-time student and an amateur boxer. My earliest memory of boxing would have to be getting together with the family to watch all these big pay-per-view fights and then, um, you know, just having everyone together and, you know, surround the TV and just watch every round, you know. Whenever someone lands a big punch, everyone gets all crazy. I think I was a freshman in high school and uh, my cousin Mark won the NCBA uh, national title at 132 pounds. And after that, I was just, I just wanted to do the same thing. I just wanted to see if I can get in there and do it too. Um, you know, I gave up a lot of time, you know, hanging out with friends and schoolwork and studying all that. But, you know, it was just something that I had to do. I came to the Nationals as an underdog. I came by myself from San Jose State, you know, competing against all these military academies and all that. Um, for the championship fight, I ended up fighting the guy that I lost to in regionals. Yeah, so I got my rematch pretty much. And it's crazy because he actually told me in regionals, you know, he's like, hey, I'll see you again in the finals. And that kind of stuck with me. So I was really focused for this fight and I really wanted it. And I didn't want to fight anyone else besides him in the finals. I still get nervous for every fight, no matter what. I mean, it may not be as bad as my very first fight, because, you know, as you get that experience, you know, you know how to uh, um, deal with it, you know, how to manage it. But I was still pretty nervous for this fight. I didn't want to get a silver medal. I wanted to get that belt. First round, I, I slip within like the first 10 seconds and they rule it as a knockdown. And in my head, you know, after that, I was like, man, you know, it got to me. I was like, I might, you know, I might lose this fight just because of that. And he was boxing me using his reach. But at times I was able to come in and hit him with hard shots. And second round, I won that one. Third round was real tense. That's when all the adrenaline kicked in because my coach told me, you won that round, you lost the first round, this is, this is it. It's three more minutes and you know, then you get the belt, but you gotta, you know, you gotta push, you gotta go all out for this round. So that's what I had to do. I had to leave it all in the ring. I was very tired, but as soon as I heard that 10 second mark, I just, I just threw, I just kept going. As soon as they announced that I won and as soon as he raised my hand, all this weight just, you know, disappeared. And it was kind of um, like unreal to me at the time. You know, I had to fight tough guys to make it here. And um, that's what made the win just way better. And, you know, I felt great that I f was able to reach my goal that I've been, you know, thinking of for like so long since high school. And what I could really remember was um, my cousin telling me that uh, everything that I've worked hard for, you know, he said it was meant to be. Yeah, he, you know, he told me to enjoy the win and, you know, it's a great accomplishment, you know, representing for the family and, you know, my school and, you know, where I'm from. Yeah. But, you know, at the same time, he let me know that, you know, now, now you're the one who's on top and you gotta, you gotta, you know, work hard from now on because everyone's gonna be gunning for you pretty much. What drives me to compete is, um, knowing that I'm representing, you know, my family, myself, my school, my culture, you know, where I'm from. I love that adrenaline that you feel when you, when you get in the ring. And I love, I love how everything just feels, you know, training for a fight, you know, just putting in that work and seeing the results. Win or lose, just knowing that you got in the ring and, you know, fought your, your heart out and survived, you know, that, that's, that's always the best feeling.